I'm going to show you how to make captions like Mr. Beast using CapCut, and I'm going to also show you how to make them even better. I have a crowd of people outside this door. We want to see if we can get them to chant whatever we want. Spoiler, they will. First, we need to find a font that looks like the one Mr. Beast uses for captions, and the one I found that looks closest is Comic Axis. Let's jump onto our phones here. You can go to dafont.com and find Comic Axis, and just hit the download button right here. Hit download and it will quickly download. It's a small file. Then click on this double A down here if you're in Safari. Otherwise, just go to your downloads. Click on downloads here, and boom, there it is. So I'm gonna click on it once, and click on it here. It will open the file and reveal the fonts. Now we have access to the fonts, so we can install them into CapCut. Now let's jump in and create a new project. We're going to import the video we're going to use. Select it, choose add. The first step is to hit text and hit auto captions. And we have a bunch of options here. We can create captions in different, in different languages. We happen to be speaking English, but you have other options here if English isn't the language you want to create your captions in. We can use a template for automatically adding some effects to these, but we want to do this more manually, so we're just gonna check this no box here. We can also add bilingual subtitles. It'll automatically translate into several languages. We're, we're not gonna do that in this case. We're just gonna hit start. And within a few seconds, CapCut will create captions, automatically generate them for you, even easier than is done in Premiere Pro. Now we can watch this and see, that looks okay, but there are a couple issues. First of all, the aspect ratio was not correct for a vertical format video, we need to fix that. And these don't look like Mr. Beast captions yet. So let's first correct the aspect ratio, hit this back arrow here, hit ratio and choose nine by 16, then hit the check mark. Next, we need to scale the video to fill the frame here. So I'm gonna just click on it. And I could use my fingers to scale it just by pinching and zooming. Or I could go down here and choose basic because I'm using a mouse and keyboard right now just so you can see what's, what's going on here on the screen. So I'm gonna click on scale and scale it up till it fills the screen. And you know it's scaled up correctly because that blue will turn white for a second. Boop, see how it blipped white? Now it's scaled up all the way. I'm just gonna click and drag my face over so I'm centered. Hit the check mark, boom, we've got the correct aspect ratio now, but the captions still don't look right. Mr. Beast's captions are very dynamic, usually has one to three words on the screen at a time, making it easier to read and making things move along quickly. It's something that you might wanna do as well with your captions. To do that, we're gonna hit the back arrow, then we're going to select text and we can see the captions here on the, on the bottom. We're gonna select this first caption here and choose batch edit so we can break it into smaller bytes. Now, because I have my Bluetooth keyboard attached to my phone, you're not gonna see the keyboard down here. I'm just going to use my mouse and keyboard to break this into smaller bytes. And I'll just click on it and hit enter every one to three words like this. Here we can also correct words that CapCut got wrong. So it looks better, but they're still like way too small in the wrong font. So to fix that, we're just gonna use our fingers and zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on. And I'm gonna click on one of them and click on style. And we're going to click on the word font here. There are a ton of fonts already built into CapCut, or we can go ahead and import our own. So we're gonna click on add font and hit the plus sign here and navigate to where we downloaded that font. We're going to hit the browse back button, click on downloads, comic access, click on it. Looks like that with the .ttf extension, I click on it and hit open. And now that is a font that is usable and available in CapCut. I click the check mark and we can take a quick look and see how it looks. That's looking better, we wanna tweak it a little further. We're gonna go ahead and click on style, click on style again. And if we scroll up, we can see the size. We wanna make it, I don't know, maybe about a 14. While we're here, let's check out some of the features available. We have templates available to us, motion templates that change the color, do all kinds of things, add glow. There's some pro versions and some free versions. We've got the ability to change fonts as I've already shown you. And if you get lost, remember these are the ones that I've downloaded. If you click on English or the language that you are using, you'll see all the other fonts available. We can also change the style. These are pre-built styles that add things like, you know, color, glow, and outlines and different effects. Here in the style section, you can customize it, make it look the way you wanna look. Mr. Beast, for example, has a black outline for his generally white fonts. So you just click on stroke, click on the color you want, and then you click on the thickness of the stroke and somewhere around there is probably great. It's hard to see because it's black and I have a dark shirt, but I'm thinking right around there is probably pretty good. So I can click the check mark 
if I want to be done, or I can look at other effects that are available. Now these are just other looks that CapCut's made for you. You can explore those. And there's a bunch of different options down here. You can also add an animation. So your effect like pops in, does all kinds of cool things like that. But we're not gonna do that for this one. Mr. Beast fonts are usually fairly simple and basic and very readable. We can also add this bubble effect if that's a look that you're going for. We're not gonna go with that. We're just gonna hit the no and hit the check mark. Now, so far this looks pretty good, but we want it to be maybe up a little bit higher. So I'm going to click on this guy and just raise it up to about here. So it's about where it is on Mr. Beast's videos. This is actually a pretty good place for the captions just below center. Too high, it's hard to read. Too low, it's hard to read. In the middle is usually where the action is. So just below center is a good place for captions. So far, everything we've done has changed all of the captions you may have noticed. What if you want to change just one word or one section of captions? You just click on that section and then click on style. And right here, it says apply to auto captions. You want to uncheck that. And then let's go ahead and find something we want to modify. In Mr. Beast's video, spoiler is red. So we're gonna click on style and just choose red. Bam, part of it's done. We want to add a little animation so it pops out. I don't think we have the exact animation Mr. Beast used, but we've got something close enough. So we're gonna click on animation. There are categories of animations. We have in, out, loop, and caption in our animations that are meant to bring the caption into the screen. Out are captions that are meant to help the caption exit the screen, loop, Captions that kind of go back and forth like this, and they'll repeat over and over again if it's on for a long time. And then just animations that are designed for captions specifically. Let's go ahead and click on loop and see if we can find one that looks similar to what Jimmy used in that video. Just maybe a simple pulse. How's that? Spoiler. Boom. That's probably fine. And you can decide how fast it happens. It can go woo, fast or slow. We can also maybe click on that and angle it a little bit after we hit the check mark. We can go over here and choose to angle it and make it a tiny bit bigger to start just so it stands out a little bit more. And we hit the back arrow and now we can see what it looks like so far. I have a crowd of people outside this store. We wanna see if we can get them to chat whatever we want. Spoiler, they will. Next, let's work on the open looking a little more like Mr. Beast. He just had a quick slam in. To make that quick slam, we just click on the video, select animation. We have different kinds of animations. We just want one that kind of zooms in. So I'm just gonna choose something that says, I don't know, how about zoom one? Boom, that looks almost identical to how Mr. Beast started. Click the check mark. And now to polish it off, we're just gonna add a little sound effect. So let's go ahead and click on the back arrow, choose audio, choose effects, select this little search box, type in maybe a swish. Let's find a swish we like. That works great. Plus, and let's see if it worked. I have a crowd of people. Sounds like it was a little bit late. It sounded like the swish happened kind of in the middle here. So we're just gonna trim a little off the head of this, slide it over a little bit, slide the whole thing over by clicking, holding, and sliding. I have a crowd of people outside this store. We wanna see if we can get them to chat whatever we want. Spoiler, they will. Finally, I've got a quick hack that'll make you not have to break it down to one word at a time like I had to do. It'll automatically do that for you. And it'll add a cool animation. And this is how you do it. You go ahead and select one of the animations. You select style. You scroll over here and select animation. You make sure apply to auto captions is highlighted. Select caption, then scroll down to spring. And now these captions will look like this. I have a crowd of people outside this store. We wanna see if we can get them to chat whatever we want. Spoiler, they will. If you wanna become a CapCut editing wizard in just 15 minutes, you wanna click on this video right here.